Good afternoon, and may I wish you a merry epiphany, which is the 12th day of the season of Christmas and the last day of Christmas. Epiphany is the day that we celebrate the arrival of the three kings in Bethlehem. The term epiphany, as you might know, means to have an idea or to suddenly realize something. And the reason it's used in this context is because when three wise men from all over the world came upon Jesus and recognized who he was, that was the revealing or the aha moment for the whole world, that things were about to change and that Christ had come among us. One of the epiphany traditions that I have always loved and apparently have brought with me from Baltimore is the epiphany blessing of houses with chalk. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take us through the home blessing for Epiphany, which you can find in the Book of Alternative Services for the Episcopal Church. And I'm going to bless this chalk, which you are either going to receive in your Epiphany box, if you're a family with a young person, or that you are welcome to come pick up in the office when we're open, or to call and ask that we mail you one. And what you'll do is once it's blessed, you will take this chalk, and either on your front door or your porch or somewhere else where it works, you will draw 20 plus C plus M plus B plus 21. And that formula is, of course, the year 2021 with the names of the three wise men, the traditional names of the three wise men in the middle. And those names, of course, are Casper, Melchior, and Balthazar. Now, additionally, and maybe slightly more, shall we say, legit, is that CMB also stands for Christus Mansonium Benedictus, which, by the way, I'm certain that I slaughtered that Latin. If there's any Latin scholars out there, I'm sorry. But what it does mean, translated into English, is Christ bless this house. And so, since we can't all come together, and we can't gather at each other's homes to bless each other's homes, I'm hoping that sending out this blessed chalk will be a way that we can celebrate the arrival of Christ and to warm each other's hearts and homes together. So, in case you have your book of occasional services on you, we will begin on page 47. Here we go. Peace to all the homes in this community and all those who dwell in them. I saw water proceeding out of the temple. From the right side it flowed, alleluia. And all those to whom that water came shall be saved and shall say, alleluia, alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is God's name. God has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. God has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. God has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. God has filled the hungry with good things and the rich God has sent away empty. God has come to the help of God's servant Israel for God has remembered a promise promise of mercy, the promise made to our mothers and fathers, to Abraham and to Sarah and to Hagar and to their children forever. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray together. O oh God, by the leading of a star, you manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth. Lead us, who know you now by faith to your presence, where we may see your glory face to face through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now we ask the Holy Spirit to descend upon this chalk. Visit, O blessed Lord, the homes that are marked with this chalk with the gladness of your presence and bless all who live in them with the gift of your love and grant that they manifest your love to each other 
and to all those whose lives they touch. May they grow in grace and in the knowledge and love of you. Guide, comfort, strengthen them, and preserve them in peace, O Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. May Almighty God, who led the wise men by the shining of a star to find the Christ, the light from light, lead you also in your pilgrimage to find the Lord. And may the blessing of God, the Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you now as we conclude this season of awe and wonder and revelation and epiphany. Amen. And we all go in peace to love and serve the Lord and to love and serve the Lord and each other and those we encounter.